Hi, I'm Cody Briscoe, and welcome to my question and answer series entitled, Have You Seen Me? It's the show where I take a drink from the big milk jug of truth. For this installment of Have You Seen Me, we're going to be discussing all things romance, and it should make sense because not only am I a master flirter, I'm also a master baiter. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Let's do this. <coughs> oh my god. Milk and this does not go good together. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea to film this late at night. <laughs> Before I begin, I want to point some things out. One, I have never had a boyfriend, but I'm open to any takers. And two, for the past, mm, I don't know, seven years, I've been fighting the romantic feelings that have been developing inside me for someone who will probably never love me. Am I right, ladies? Anonymous asked, My boyfriend and I started dating after only three interactions together, and now we've been dating for ten months. Thoughts? I don't know what advice I can give you, it sounds like you're just bragging, so go fuck yourself. <laughs> Heather asks, My boyfriend is a brony and keeps asking me if he can put horseshoes on my feet and a saddle on my back. What should I do? Well, maybe you shouldn't have started dating a guy who's Greek. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Griff Church Donut 8 asks, My boyfriend isn't putting out and I want sex bad. How do I tell him that I want him to fuck me? Well, first off, you need to wait until your dad gets back from work and then you need to have, like, do you have to prepare dinner for him? <laughs> Maybe it's not your dad. Okay, just hypothetically, um, maybe like prepare a nice romantic dinner, like maybe bake a cake for him, and then when you're done, get up on the table, grab your ankles, and just spread him and show him that fucking rancid canyon girl. Joel Sparta asks, what is the weirdest slash kinkiest sexual act you've ever performed? Well, I gotta preface this by saying that, look, it was fifth grade and I didn't know what I was doing. We've all been there, we've all given guys head in... The Truck stop bathroom glory hole. Like, like, I, like that's happening that everyone has happened. It's like, it's like a rite of passage. The Bard from Space asks, How do you ask someone out for the first time? I'm an introvert, so any tips are appreciated. Um, well, first I would make sure that you have a really solid friendship with that person before, you know, confessing your feelings. Um, and also, I'm not sure if I can give advice to this, because, like, look, I hate it when a person tries to give you advice based on, like, some random occurrence that happened to them that has nothing to do with your current situation, so... I'd like to give you some advice based on my relatable experiences, so if you're ever at a job interview, don't interrupt the person by pulling out a dollar bill and showing them how you can fold it to look like the two towers. Taryn the Tinkerer asked, how can I get your dad to fuck me? If I knew that, do you think I'd be sitting here making YouTube videos? Connor Delaney asked, what do you think of online relationships? Um, I'm open to any kind of relationships, online ones, you know, included. So if anybody wants to start one with me, just, you know, let me know. And finally, Wyatt asks, how do you deal with feelings that you may have for straight guys? Uh... Um... You never deal with it. You never get over it. It never gets better. This, this love bullshit, bullshit. F soulmates, bullshit. You know what I need in my life? I need a seaside cabin and a fucking revolver. Be sure to leave me questions for the next installment of Have You Seen Me. I'm looking to answer questions about finance.